In 1969, oh God, I'm going to try not to butcher this as badly as I usually do. There was this gangster named Danny Anunzita. Anunzita. He was with the, the uh, De Cavente crew out in New Jersey. So in 1969, Dick and this guy, Corky Vasto, who later became a captain in that family, they were extorting a dice game. They wanted in Travolse, Pennsylvania, which is, I've never heard of it, but near Philadelphia someplace. And they were demanding a $20,000 payoff. So the operators went to Dick Cavente himself and they said, what's going on? He says, look, I'll mediate this thing. And he got the 20000 down to 12000 So they had to pay 12000 to these two gangsters. And Di Caventi gets an additional fee of 3800 Well, the government stepped in at some point and they decided that this actually had just been all a ruse. That Di Caventi made up the whole thing. Uh, he sent them in. They extorted these guys. So uh, they were all charged with extortion. Vistola was convicted. Um, he got 30 months in prison, but for in 1972 for extorting these guys it was overturned. He was a really interesting guy. He was a concert promoter for Ray Charles and Aretha Franklin. They were big, big business. He golfed with Sammy Davis Jr. He owned part of Roulette Records. If you're a baby boomer, you probably know that. I know it well. And he was listed as a songwriter for a lot of hits from the 50s and 60s. Uh, Lily May Bell, I don't know that one. The Cleftones, You Baby You, and the Wrens, Hey Girl, I remember that one. He was sidelining, by the way, in making records, counterfeiting the same records he was representing. He made $500,000 on that. He also had a close working relationship, this is by the 1980s, with the New York wing of the Caventi family, which was based up in Brooklyn, this guy named Jimmy Rotundo. In 1987, Vestella was sent to jail for assaulting this record company producer executive because he was extorting him. The guy caused trouble. Vestella said he was going to kill him, blah, blah, blah. So while he's housed at the Metropolitan Correctional thing in, uh, Facility in Manhattan, he gets jailed with John Gotti, who's paranoid. John Gotti figures Vestola, the more he talks to Vestola, he thinks Vestola may have been sent there to, to get him to flip. And he's absolutely convinced Vestola is going to squeal. He's never going to do any time. So when Gotti got out of jail, he contacted the Caventi, the boss named John Rigi, and he says, look, you, you got to kill this guy. He's going to rat all of you out. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. So in 19, again, the government found out in 1992, they drop a whole new racketeering case uh, five murders, a conspiracy to murder, and Vastola is part of that. There's loan sharking, gambling, and so forth in on that tax evasion. But the Vastola thing, where Gotti's saying, you know, kill this guy, that's part of that thing. In night, Vastola lived to see the day. In 1988, Vastola was convicted for extortion, uh, racketeering, a lot of other stuff. He got 20 years. He was released in 1998. And um, I sh should think lives in New York someplace. <laughs>